Good evening. Friendos, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Star Renegades tonight. Uh, last time we got ourselves sorted a little bit, and we're about up to the, uh, the big boss of the third area here. We've got one more day's worth of movements to do. So, three additional... Alright, we gotta camp first. Uh, three additional fights to take, and then it's the boss fight that I hope we survive, um, which I'm not, uh, not particularly, uh, convinced I am gonna survive, <laughs> honestly. Oh, cool, I can repair armor. That's neat. Who's got armor to repair? I, I guess, technically, oh, only two armor. What do you fucking do, Tarantula Town? I could use it on myself, though. All right. Might do that. Because having more armor is good. Um, that's one point. Okay, let's... What, like, what else do we have for... God, that's three points. Heal a quarter of health and then more shields. Additional shields. Uh... Oh, that's to everybody. Oh, it's a fuck... The healer is doing healy things. Oh, I really like that. That's kind of exceedingly good. Um, yeah, I think we're doing that. <laughs> Group heal, and everybody gets to be friends, sort of. Um, so now everybody's back up to full health, I love it. Uh, okay, what do we have left then? Uh, just like some, maybe some combat stuff? The, uh, oh, we can max out? Our, uh, friendship level here. And then do damage defense. Yeah, that seems good. Do it. Now, uh, spiritual robot dude and our... Front runner are now soulmates, apparently. <laughs> Extremely limited. I'll give you a lesson. Hooray! Um, but now... Uh... We can apparently recruit somebody? I, I don't know. What the heck was that even about? Um. Second here, let's go to. Here. Our front runner here. She is maxed out with Robot Friendo there. Um. Relationship unlocks? Yeah. Okay. Here. Uh. Oh, that's just the, the various dialogue bits. Um, no, I want to see... Oh, I see. Here. Um, we can't... I, I know it just said you can recruit somebody through whatever, whatever, quantum, whatever, but I didn't catch what it actually said or meant. Oh, well. That's... That's all right, I guess. We'll just have to figure that out later. But we're about actions. Um, and I didn't do the armor repair thing like I wanted to. Where is that? Here? But it takes, like, one? Yeah. Or no. Yeah. Could have done a little self-armor buff there, but didn't. That's fine. Whatever. Everybody's full health and... Not the best to go for, probably. All right. Time to plan out our final day here. Oh, and whatever that is. Uh, a battle cruiser? Yeah, sure, enter that. Oh no, it's like a little side bed. Um, okay, okay, we get to do a little side bed. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't realize there was gonna be side bits here. Okay, um, so are there, like, fights everywhere? Do we have to fight everything? Okay. Drones, 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 grunts, whatever. Okay, so there's more, more DNA over there. I guess we decide which path we take, ultimately, to, to get up to the big bad here. There's some money. I think we've got a lot. Do we have a lot of money? Or 55 monies, and the, the... 
the level isn't over yet, so we're gonna get more money, probably. I'd really like more of the DNA for more level up spell. That seems good. It's either that or like money. And that's about it, right? And there's I guess there's equips at the end too. Um, yeah, let's let's go with the left path. Surely this will be fine. We'll have some fights and shit, but Oh, those are slightly larger dudes than I was expecting. Um Hmm. Uh <laughs> kinda big problem here. Um what are we what are we fighting even? Uh okay, they don't have any shields though. They've got armor but no shields, so we can probably just start. Uh oh and we didn't do the thing that causes burn, so it's just gonna be bleeding. It's gonna be bleeding all over the place here, really. Uh, with Sever? I guess Sever is the only bleedy bits, but I kind of want to do, uh, armor break stuff, too. So we do a bunch of armor break, then... Hope oh, for more, right? Uh, it's a really strong AoE, but here's like a normal... Oh, it's a single target attack, okay. That's the only one I can target there, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, there's the AoE. Um... And I guess I could do that? That's something, right? A little bit of something, something. Um... Could we do instead... Oh, that guy's doing an AoE. Oh, they're both doing an AoE, no wonder. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they're both gonna get... out of existence here anyways, right? So, uh... five percent crit damage? Yeah. Let's mostly apply that to our our front hitter, right? Um... Attacks gain nitro damage? But just my own attacks, right? That's the deal? Oh, I see. Versus pulse damage, which... I don't really know what that means. Do these dudes have anything special to them? No. Okay. I don't know what Pulse versus Nitro really means. I think it's probably just it's the different elementals, I guess. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm hoping Nitro means maybe like it'll do... Uh... Oh, here. All attacks slowed by 15 seconds. Blocked by shields, so that's interesting. Uh, that seems pretty good, actually. <laughs> if if that's gonna, like, give us some time to work, I'm, I'm into it. Um, okay. Then a guard, kind of like a little guard breaker here. Oh, that's the only one I can do. It's the only one I can hit. That's fine. fine, I guess. Um, doesn't look like it causes a pushback. Which I guess is fine at this point, really. Let's do that. Oh, oh, it does it automatically. Whoops. Did not think that was a, an instant attack thing. Ah, uh, too late. Uh, alright. Then, uh... And then do some ex... Explodes, I guess. Because that does what? That does 66. Oh, plus extra armor break and shit. So that's like a hundred. Good solid hundred hit. Versus this stuff, which is just about nothing, really. Um, yeah, let's plant explosives. Prepare for tomorrow today, more or less, right? Um, and what else do we got going on here? We've got... No, let's cancel all, because I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Um, oh, Cleave is a big heavy attack with excellent... Excellent armor piercing. Like, that's what I was looking at before. But if I can do just a heavy attack to beat the shit out of him... Okay, that takes him off the timeline. 
Um, all right, I was thinking about doing that. Then I want to make sure. Oh. Okay, that one will actually do a, a pushback, but only to that one. That's unfortunate. Uh. Because that one's already off the timeline. I would have to do this one and then ensure that our next attack also pushes him back, I guess, which would do it there, too. Um, so I'm kind of into that. Yeah, if I do that, I think that will save us from this round. Hey, game over. How you doing? See ya. Um, so we'll do, yeah, pretty heavy armor. Okay, good armor break there. That's, that's good. Um, and then this one, kaboom, bam, boom, bam. Uh, good break there. They will also be slower. Oh, which, uh, unfortunately doesn't really help me because they're both extremely fast. Um, and the only way I'm gonna stop either of these fucks from doing a thing is to be like, hey, I'm gonna guard everybody against these big ass attacks. I think it's pretty much my only option here, right? Ah, that costs 20 to do it. But it does save people, so, uh, you know, let's hold on to that for a bit. Is this... That's AoE, right? Is this also AoE? No, that's one. This is AoE, but it doesn't do stun. I were to... I think I've only got... I've only really got enough uh, little fury points here to do one stun thing. Or, like, the party guard thing here, which might be the better... Might be the better, uh, choice, really. Oh, plus I could do just like a free ass attack here against that guy. That's just that's not very much. Um, well, let's do. Okay, we'll wait. We'll we'll keep the like the party guard in our back pocket, and then we'll see what we can do. Just like to destroy shit. Uh, maybe if we can just focus down one of these fuckers. Like, super hard. Because what would this do? This does 99. 99 plus a little bit of armor, right? Which isn't bad. But he's also one of the only dudes that has a... Has a stun. Uh... But I could also be like, hey, here's a 350% damage, but oh, that uses Fury, though, too, so that's a problem. But this does absolutely massive damage. This does massive damage. It probably pushes one of them, so okay, let's see what we can do about this. We can probably wipe one of these dudes just entirely if I do this right. Ah, it's just a shame this dude's attacks are slow. Alternatively, I could also... Oh, that caught fury at all. Never mind. I was thinking of, like, maybe I give one of my dudes an extra action this round. Then maybe we can just totally fucking myrtleize one of them. But I'm thinking this, 
plus um, plus some more damage on that top one. Might do the job. I just need to figure out who's going to be doing the damage, and is it going to be enough? And is it going to be quick enough? Really, that's that's the deal. So if I start start with that, we can queue it up. We don't need to do it yet. Um, and then do that. That's not going to be enough to murder. It's not going to be enough to murder that one, unfortunately. Um, but then if I do... So let's queue up. All right, hold on a second. Let's back that one up. Let's queue this one up and then see if our big boom slam does the job. It doesn't quite do it. So I'd need to follow up with an, an additional attack. So what if I then queue this one up as well, and then do this? It's hard to tell if that'll fertilize him. I think even if it doesn't... Oh, it's not going to because she's not going to act until afterwards, huh? That seems weird. I thought she was a... Yeah, this is a fast move, so... Cue that up. Then cue that up. Oh, I see. They're both acting on that turn. And then if I cue... Ah, uh, see, if I... If I don't myrtleize this one fucker right away... Oh, wait. This is a free action. Um... That's very well timed. That's a free action, so let's do that right away. Bonk. Okay. And then I queue up, uh, this. It still doesn't show that it's gonna be a kill. Oh, maybe because I didn't... No, I queued up both of those. You know what, fuck it, let's do it. What am I doing? Big boom slam, big hits, real big hits, and then, okay, then that guy, okay, then he's dead, then he's toast. Um, what concerns me about this is that this guy is going to get one shot in, so everybody's taking a pretty big bop there. I really don't care too much about the health of my guardian, because he regens health at the end of the uh, battle anyways. Then if we just kind of go, yeah, big fucking... Oh, I can't, because I can't target him. Oh, that stinks. Well, alright, let's back that up then. That's not gonna be a murder. That's not gonna be a murder. Is this one gonna be a murder? No. Oh, but I could do like a, a fancy... What does that do? 10 seconds faster. Is that gonna be fast enough for my dude to go before top one does? No, probably not. But additional damage, so 25% additional damage. Should be, let's see, 48, 24, plus additional crit damage, so a quarter of 24 would be an extra 6. That's not going to be enough, I don't think. Oh, I forgot I had this. Oh, I forgot I had that. Uh, yeah, D do that. That's a, that's a big boy hit. Um, now I could do the kill shot here. Uh, well. Still not going to be fast enough, but I could do the kill shot here. Take that one off the board. Yeah, I think I need to do that. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. 
they're gonna get one big hit against me, and that's I guess that's gonna have to be enough. Cause I bet this one will retarget automatically. We'll have to see. Let's see what happens here. So boom, healer gets the kill naturally. Oh god, that's a big hit. <laughs> big hit all the way around. Um, that's alright, I think he's toast. He's gonna be toast this next round anyways. Yeah, easily. Uh, I'm just sad that so many folks took big help fits there. Alright, well, no matter. Let's, uh... Sure, we're gonna murder lies here. She's gonna go right away, which is impressive, so bye bye. Okay. Pretty big DNA boost, I like that. Plus, we're gonna get extras here. Another 90. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty big boost there. And then we're gonna be going into another fight. Um. Do I have any equips that need... No, I'll see. Do I have any equips that need level 8? I don't, right? All we've got equipped is pretty much what we've got. Yeah. So, really, dealer's choice on who gets level ups here. Uh... What do we get? Strength aura? Plus 15% damage. Damn, I like that. Uh, there's also this, which is AoE. Nice. And also re-enables our explosive plant. I guess that was only like one. Okay, rattle three is alright. Uh, action is a shield booster. Oh shit, an actual... Oh, a self-heal. Eh, not bad, I guess. And then there's this, which is... Oof. Uh, not bad, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. As always, Protag wins. Not bad, okay. And I think after this next fight, then we'll probably have enough for an additional level. Somebody. Oh, look at these little tiny fuckers. Five on four. Good odds. Good odds, and they're not acting particularly quickly, so... Ah, oh, too bad he was pretty slow. Um, so where are my big AoEs at? Big slow AoE. It's the AoE what, which pushes everybody back. But maybe single target stuff would probably be better. Because that'll push the dipshit back there. If I do that, and then if I start with... Okay, no, it's not quite enough to push him off the timeline. How are we doing, like, otherwise here? What are our folks doing? They're all firing against my frontliner. Uh, except for this guy here. Which is fine. Um, oh, and this guy there. Which, honestly, I'd, I'd much rather see him go after our, our secondary frontliner there. That would be nice, but... Okay. Um, well, I don't know that we'll need the extra five seconds of time here, so let's get rid of that. Is bleeding, which I like. Oh, and pushes one just entirely off the timeline. Okay, I'm into that. Front dude is taken care of. Got big AoE here, uh, which I kind of enjoy. And then I could do another AoE, but it's really slow. 
instead I could do single target. Because what do we have now? Oh, it's burning. Pulse is burning, apparently. It's blocked by shields, but by the time he gets to act, shields will probably be gone. Um... Then I can also be like, hey, let's boost somebody. Maybe him, because that'll be getting an extra 25% crit damage. Which he's going to be doing... Oh, which isn't that much, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's cancel that out. Wish he was a little bit more powerful. He isn't. Makes me sad. Alright, we'll wait on his choice there then. Because what's our other dude doing? He's doing straight shot, pushing that guy back significantly. Let's instead make another choice. Oh, we can only target the two frontliners here. <laughs> Alternatively, I could do this and be like, big boom slam. Or that, I guess. If I wanted to wipe one of these fuckers off the timeline. Oh, I guess that guy. Oh, that's instant. <laughs> okay, never mind. So he is no longer a concern uh, this turn. Um, should have maybe thought about that a bit more. I think. Uh, can we. I wish we could. Target the back line. Okay. The dude in front is taken care of, probably. If we could, maybe... Is that the slowish attack? He's already getting pushed off the timeline anyways, and if that's gonna happen... That dude's doing a fucking... Uh... AoE. Hate it. Okay, then I definitely want him to move before he gets to do that. Which, I don't know which dude that is. I guess that's the dude on the 40 second mark there. As long as we move before that, we're probably fine. that, and then we're up to, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure, big AoE there, and then maybe just do, hey, why don't you do more, more damage or something against everybody. Yeah, that's good. Alright, yeah, you go faster and do your thing quicker. There, now we can pretty much be assured that something good's gonna happen here, because now he's bleeding, and now he's getting stabbed again, which is even better. And and he's burning, too. It's even better. And there's a big AoE hits there. He gets to go for free, which is fine, whatever, I don't care. And then there's the big AoE attack against us, which, you know, whatever. Okay, that dude just burns to death. I'm into it. Now we can kind of be like, yeah, let's make sure that guy gets off the timeline. Um... Realistically, I want most of these fucks to move back and or get murdered. Um, and nobody's gonna have shield, really. I'm gonna make him do that. Then I'm gonna do... I don't know, I guess place your bets on this guy? Because then his shields are gone entirely. He'll get bled, take on the bleeding or whatever. 
full weight on that. Um, because I might want to instead do this bucko here. Okay, let's queue that up. And then, ooh. Uh, this is a free action, so he's gonna be almost about dead. Which, uh, alright. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And he's also burned. <laughs> I'm into it. Okay, then that would be a kill shot there, which is even better. That could... Oh, that's also a kill shot there, which is even better. Although, I think I'd prefer to move that guy off. Since he's only going against my front line. Yeah, let's move that guy off this turn. Get another turn to deal with him. Um, and now we get to decide what to do here. Not... Okay, here target some other dumb idiots. Because who's this guy targeting? Her? We can kill this fucker outright. Which I'm into. And then we can just do whatever here. Which I'm also into. Because he's not going to attack the front runner there, so we've got time to just do sure, late kill on upper left dude, and then dude in the back is going to be nearly dead anyways, right? Yeah, seems good. So bonk and bonk, and then big boom here, goodbye eat shit, etc. And this guy gets to go, whatever. Very <laughs> one health damage, oh no. Uh, and then AoE, that guy gets toasted, that guy dies outright. Um, and now we've got five on one. <laughs> just immediately five on one, and now it's just anybody's game as to who gets the kill. I mean, I can just do it here. Fuck it. Bonk. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. We don't get anything extra for this, though, do we? No extra DNA, no nothing. But we've got enough for a level up for... I don't know. I do like the idea of a damage boost across the entire team. That's what we're going to do seems like the good idea. And then we're up to this fucker, which is gonna be gonna be a fight. The level 8. He's a level 8 and everybody's you know, mostly full. It's not like I have a choice. It's the only way forward. Hmm. I hate that he's got three other dipshits with him, though. That annoys me. Let's see. Okay, so they get one immediate Oh, he's- ah, it's one of the guarding motherfuckers. I hate it. Um, is he defending somebody or just himself? Oh, he's defending that guy, uh, oh, figures. Oh god, that guy's gonna do a big slam. I hate it. AoE against everybody. Uh, alright. Let's see what we can do about that. Ah, uh, and of course that dude resists AoE, so that's fun. So really, my only choice is probably... Well, hold on a second. We've got enough to do, like, big, big slam here. That pushes him off the timeline. It kills the, the guarding dipshit just immediately. Which is awesome. And it weakens the others very, very well. So, uh, you know what? That seems like a no-brainer. Do it. 
Bonk. Bonk. That guy's toast. Let's save us a little bit of trouble. Um, and now we've got three things to deal with here. Uh, this light, which is not good. Okay, that'll get him off the timeline there, which seems important. Okay, I think I've really got not much of a... Oh, I should have activated the strength aura first. Well, that was dumb. Okay, now well, let's do it now. <laughs> well, no matter. Okay. And now that'll give us a, a few other options. I don't get that dude it's straight up off the timeline. Uh, I need to do 15 or greater with whoever I've got left. Or greater than 15, actually. But, we can get him off the timeline immediately, so let's do that. And then we've got, really, two choices, right? We could do the AoE, which should just help us, more or less. Who's the last dude that hasn't been pushed off yet? The dude with the cyan face, this dude here. Because that dude ain't doing nothing, right? He's already been delayed. I think. Yeah, it seems that way. So if I do, like, big AoE... And we could probably even just wipe uh, bottom dipshit off of here anyways. Still haven't had our... Oh no, our Protag one. That's right. Okay, I can just do a straight up kill shot there. Or... Wipe that dude out and give us essentially a free turn. That seems good. So boom, there he doesn't get to do his dummy twirl maneuver. Okay, everybody burns. Pretty good stuff there. Okay, we get a free kill. More or less a free kill. I, I'm worried that... Oh, that's gonna do a heavy hit against my uh, budget Han Solo there. Plus, he gets to fucking do his big AoE slam there, which I do not like. So can we maybe not do that? Could do just a big stun maneuver against him. Alternatively, I could just do this. It's 15, stun him there. Oh, he might resist that, though, because it's a light attack. I don't like that. So you know what? We are going to do a big... Well, let me just get rid of that guy. Make sure that guy goes away. Um, and then make sure we do our big stun attack against that guy, because that'll take a, a pretty decent chunk of his health out, too. Nice, 246. Good hit. Good hit, and he doesn't get to go this round now. Um, and now it's going to be about moving fast enough to get this guy out. Get this guy out, because who is this guy attacking? Oh, Budget Han Solo, actually. Uh, who's this one attacking? My healer. Oh, actually, no, he's getting murdered the way it is, right. Okay. Um, what if we don't do that, though? Because I could ensure that dude dies no matter what. We have another stun-like attack here. Who is... 
attacking my budget on solo. Could I, uh... What at that? That'll do 15 defense. Oh, but Khan Solo already went, so he doesn't get to defend. Uh, okay, so he's gonna take a pretty big hit then. Hate to see it, but uh, that's how it goes. So we speed some stuff up first, though. Maybe we can still kill this guy before he has a chance. That's instant, and then... This is also instant. Hmm. Then I also want to make sure the dude on the bottom there gets toasted immediately anyway. Use pink face, right? Yeah, okay. And no matter what, I don't think I can make our dude here go fast enough to. I mean, aside from this, right? This would be the best I could do. Oh, plus it's a free action, anyways, right? I mean, I may as well do it. Might as well do it. It's free damage. Um, and then this will ensure that that dude on the bottom dies. Okay. Uh, still keeping up that attack. I'm gonna put. Uh, I think. Strength back on. Because this AoE to kill that dude down there is still gonna take effect. And then we've really just got. Uh, well, defend. Could defend because we're not gonna kill the dude in the middle right away, anyways. Probably take our time with this one, just to really let him have it. Yeah, that's about the best we can do. So, boom, that guy goes down, no problem. Oof, budget Han Solo takes one on the chin. He takes one in the gut, 61, and it does burning and bleeding. Oh, and that guy gets to go almost immediately. I hate it. <laughs> well, guess what? Uh, oh, he can't get pushed back at all. I have to just straight up stun him. Which I can't do. So who is he attacking? Oh, just our front runner. That's probably fine, then. Well, let's see. What can we do about that? We have enough instant attacks to to myrtleize him, do we? So he resists most of our light attacks. And the rest of our other attacks are too slow. Hmm. Shit. don't have enough fury to do, like, any really fun combos, so... Or pretty much anything, really. Oh, plus she's gonna be stunned, so it's not even gonna matter. So that might be a, a good time to defend. To absorb more of it, yeah. And then we can kind of take our time with the rest.
Maybe try to push this dude off, or just murder him. Which that would do. And then we could just, uh... Focus down this other jackass. Well, I mean, we could just do an instant kill there, huh? Is that what that's about? Oh no, we had other things queued up. Shit, I gotta requeue all that. <laughs> uh, okay, defend, clearly, since uh, biker dude's gonna get a chance to go regardless. Um, I think we mine the knife, that dipshit. And then I think with that and this, he's gonna die? Or do I want to maybe just kill shot him, be done with it, and then I can do a uh, weak to pyro against this fucko. Oh, and he's enraged. Oh, that's good. That was a good choice. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, more damage. Less defense, though. And he goes faster. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Alright, where's our, our single target here? Against that fucko. Pretty much just do an armor break on this guy. This goes right away. But nobody's attacking him, so it doesn't matter. Realistically, we don't need to do shields either. So we could just do AoE, that guarantees the kill on him, anyways, I think. He wants to single target that. Takes a little bit of his armor down. And then single target this guy again. And then let it play out. It's alright. Takes a 41 bop to shield instead of, you know, taking a massive health hit, so that was a good choice. This fucker's gonna die no matter what. Eat shit, see you in hell, etc. Um, and then this guy's. Pretty much on the ropes, right? And get some armor back. I don't like that. Oh, plus he gets to like go real fast. I don't like that either. You get to not do that. <laughs> uh, I could stun him. What do I have that goes fast enough such that he'll like not do that? Because I don't think he'll resist the stun, right? No, it's just a damage resistance, not a status resist. Okay. Um, we'll think about it. Hate that he's going so damn fast. Why is he going so damn fast? Oh, because he's enraged, that's why. Hmm. Don't like it. But, that's uh, alright. Okay, so if we just ensure... We need to bop him by about 30 additional seconds. Could we even do that? Oh, that we've got an attack that'll do that. Oh, except for that, I guess, huh? That'd be a bad idea. That would save our fury points for later. But yeah, let's do that. That pushes him back. Oh no, that was the only, uh... Oh shit. That was bad. Now we gotta kill him. <laughs> now we gotta kill him before he acts. Uh, I think we can do that. Yeah, there we go. He's gonna die. Never mind. Well, good. I'm glad I didn't waste my fury points then. You know what, let's just make sure. Let's just make sure we act before he does. I think it's our guardian that's gonna get the kill here. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, uh, covered that one a little bit. <laughs> else we get? Free shit. Free shit.
Uh, oh. Uh, oh. I don't really need the, the, the S word. But oh, gauntlets would be tempting. 38% damage on everything. Plus 38% damage on everything. Or, we could try to get our budget Han Solo up to level 9 so he can get plus 50% damage on everything. And, Hellsteel. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! I like Hellsteel. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. Ah! Uh, okay, well then he's gonna take the level up here for sure. And I'm gonna hope that we get enough stuff to level him up one more time before the big bad fight here. Hundred and thirty-nine, huh? We've still got two-ish, maybe three battles, so that might still be possible. Oh. Okay. That was just a side bit. <laughs> that was just a side bit. Now we get to fight all of these. Um, okay. One to here, two to here, and then three to here. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Which means, like, a, a not unreasonable fight there, a kind of scary fight there. And then, uh... Now I'm tempted to go fight this fucker too, but that would be a, a pretty bad fight, probably. So, okay. Let's do this fight. Take 30 damage there, whatever. I think that just goes against shields first, yeah? So then we're probably fine. Eh, more or less. Okay, so really only one concern with this fucker, except for that guy. What was he firing against? Oh, that's a big ouch. That is a big ouch. Um, what can we do about him? We can do a stun. Be like, no man, you don't get to do that this round. Fuck you. Uh... Wow, they are really focusing down my, like, alternate front runner there. Except for this guy. This guy's just gonna do an AoE whatever, and I'm gonna be like, no, he can't do that. <laughs> uh, alright. What are our options here? All of them except the sniper dude are moving pretty slow, so we can probably focus this guy down down we've got how many how many things do we have that can act instantly one here uh don't have the instant thing there one here and i suppose if i do the speed Wait, do I already have the speed boost thing active? Oh, I do. Okay. Fuck. Alright, so it's either stun or nothing on that guy, I guess. Um... I guess I really don't have a choice then. Fine. Alright, gives us some room to work. Uh, then we can focus on getting these other dipshits off the timeline. Uh, although, now that we don't really have a time concern here, let's get our damage boost going. Then work on this. So that'll do bleed and push him off. Uh, I'd really like to 
cut this dude's armor a bunch. But is it worth doing that, or is it worth just doing this? Probably just worth doing that. And then if we wanted to do... Oh, we gotta make sure we push this guy off the timeline too, though. Well, maybe we don't. What was he attacking? It's a big hit. That's a big hit. If we do... Alright, let's go back and... Do that first, right? Because that'll push him back a little bit, and then we can push him back just entirely off there. That seems like the play. Okay. And now we've got our choice, like, just do big AoE, soften everybody up. Yeah, it seems good. Plus that dude shields some of his armor and make him bleed, right? Yeah. Bleeding seven or whatever. Push this dude off the timeline. Excellent stuff there. Now everybody's burning. Yeah, that's that's what I like to see. Okay, and now that dude moves last, which is excellent. And now uh, I think big dude moves first, which is less excellent. But he's targeting our frontliner, which is fine, which gives us some time to work with here, really. So I could just get rid of this fucker right away. Might not be a bad idea. Though I have a feeling I can't really target the back line very much, so let's think about what we're doing a little bit. Well, I can just do the big boom slam there. He gets to go before everybody that I care about. Oh, also vengeance mode? What does that mean? Uh, we'll attack target if they attack. Oh, I see. But that doesn't do much, right? I'm just gonna retaliate against my dude. Probably doesn't do much, right? Probably not gonna matter. Alright, so let's go with the presumption that he's not going to be able to do much about that. And I could just murder this guy straight away. You know, let's do that. Bonk. Oh no. Uh, that just did some chip damage against him. Damn. Oh well. Hate to see it. But he's going to die from the big boom slam AoE from our robot dude anyways, right? Must have changed this up a little bit. Now this goes a lot faster, and it gets a small crit attack against uh, Big Boy up there. Let's do that instead. And we can really just lay into these fuckers. He's going to be toast no matter what. Have that. And then we've got pretty much just this. Ah, oh, he's not going to die from that, huh? He isn't going to die from that. That stinks, because what is he going to do? he doing otherwise? He's doing a big attack against my front runner, which has very little health damage, so I really don't care, actually. So realistically, just pop him a little bit. Give him a little pop. Oh, and we still got one more to go, so that'll be the kill shot there. Excellent. Uh, so he's gonna be done. He's gonna be done, and I won't have to worry about him. I'm, I'm into that. So, boom. Armor break, back row dipshit there. That guy's toast. 
Ooh, right. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, though. Uh, that guy should be nearly toast. Once our next AoE goes off here, there we go. Now it's five on one. <laughs> now it's five on one. Whoever gets the... gets the attack gets the kill, pretty much. I could just do it right here. <laughs> or I could try to beef up my fury by breaking him first before killing him. Which seems like not a bad idea. So we're gonna try to time this out a little bit. gonna be a kill shot no matter what. Alright, uh... Yeah, just do a sh shield boost, I guess. Why not? Alright, and he gets popped, he gets broken, we get the four fury out of that, which is great, and then Robo Dude gets the kill. Get just a little tiny bit of DNA. How much do we need to... Get a level up for our budget on solo again. 139? So we're gonna need 68. Oof, that might be troublesome. Although if we're fighting this kind of bigger dude up here, that might be a non-issue as well. Um, do we have... I think we left like a Healy bit around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, alright. We'll have... Should we pop the Healy bit now? And fight this fucker? How's everybody doing? Okay, well, I could be doing better. I guess since we learned that uh, it's not permadeath, we could take the risk and do this fight now. And leave the Healy bit for the pretty big bad fight, right? Or, if we manage to murder this guy, we could take the Healy bit and then go try to murder this guy. <laughs> that would be... Maybe that's too big a risk. Um, but I will take the risk on this one, I think. Because, alright, you know, it's you know, not an unreasonable set of dudes to deal with here. Oh, except he gets to go first, which sucks. But we can make that not a thing now by stunning him. Or could guard everything, because wow, they are really focusing down. Oh, we got two AoE dipshits here. That's a big problem. Alright. What can we do about this? Do we have two significant enough AoEs that'll get them all off the timeline there? Mmm. I think we'll probably just have to do one at a time. That'll get him out of there, that'll get him out of there, and then it's just middle dipshit I have to worry about. Which would be this plus an AoE, probably. Because, let's see. Can I, can I all attack? Oh, this. Oh, I could also do that. Uh, which might not be a bad idea. And if I'm doing that, I should probably do... Uh... Stun. I should probably stun this fucko. Give myself some time to work. Yeah, I think that's, that's the good opening play. Uh, and I forgot to do the damage boost before I did that. That was good. Good job. Okay, so let's get that back. Now we've got to do three single targets to get some of these fuckos out of here. 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to do. So it's going to be like some single targets plus an AoE to get them all off the timeline. Probably. Let's do that. Uh, this one I can hit center bit straight up off the timeline there. Need to do probably that one and then uh, AoE to break off everybody. Right? Unless. So what am I doing? What does the Guardian do here? He's doing single target. Minus 15. You know what? Let's cancel that for now. What does the AoE do? That does 10 to everything. Is that gonna break? Everybody off the, the timeline there? I don't think that will, right? No, because there's still... Uh, which one of these fuckos? This guy, I think? Whoever he's attacking, it's gonna go first. So okay, I'm gonna have to put this back then. Let's do uh, normal attack there, and then AOE to get them all off the timeline. That's gonna have to be the, the order of things here. So boom there, that puts them all back early, bumps that dude off there, and then the single targets here will take care of the rest essentially gives us a free turn, but next turn is going to be kind of rough, because they're all not going to be movable, really. We're going to have to see who we can just myrtleize quickly. <laughs> okay, that dude took himself out of the uh, running. Oh, except he's... I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, 311! Balls, that's a problem. Uh... Okay, but we can move them off the timeline if we need to. I'm probably gonna need to do that. So how many of these other ones can we... ...murder? None of them are movable anymore. We only have a small handful of instant attacks. Instead, though. What does that do? That slows, right? It slows, but it doesn't, um... I should have done that first, maybe. Should have done that in the first round so that these dudes would not be acting as quickly. Well, less than learned, I guess. But if we do that, that'll take him down a little bit. Plus, instant attack here. Uh... Unfortunately, we only have this, really, as well, but maybe the combination of all that will take him down, yeah? So we'd have to do, I think, this. Let's do the chip damage there and get knocked down some of his armor. And then that. But that doesn't quite kill him. <laughs> Damn it. That doesn't quite kill him. Because um, he's going to get to go there. Unless... It's my quickest attack here. None of them are quick enough to... To make him not do a thing. Unless I cancel this. What's his, uh... Oh, man, that's a really slow one. Okay. I kind of need to do that. I don't, I don't think I have a choice. Unfortunately, this is going to be a late hit no matter what happens. Uh, balls. Uh, do we have enough to do... No. Well, here's what we can do, actually. If I 
speed up my sh a little bit. We can do this. And then this goes instantly. Gets me a whole bunch of fury, right? Breaks that dude off the timeline. Because then that allows me to defend everybody and be like, hey, yeah, no, fuck you. Uh, they ain't doing anything. Uh, and now we get to pretty much do whatever we want. Which I'm into. So let's see. We can get a late kill there. Or I can try to focus down this bucko. You know what? Just kill the middle dude. Yeah, whatever, like, hardly anybody takes a scratch there. Besides our front runner guardian, but he'll heal at the end of the battle anyways. So bonk, and then bonk again, fuck you. But he's toast. Their frontliner dude is about to- oh yeah, he burns to death. Okay, that's even better. I forgot that that was gonna happen. Oh, now the rest is gonna be fun. Um, can we... Oh, he's still... I can't directly target him. Little shit. I don't like that. Who is he? Oh, he's gonna do the kill shot on my dude there, huh? Well, we'll see about that. I could defend. Or... Ah, the only thing I can do, really, to... Wasn't there a thing I could do that would allow me to target anything? What was the deal? It wasn't Inspire. It wasn't Battle Cry. Oh, it was this. It was Vantage. Well, I don't have enough fear to use that anyways, so whatever. It's not happening. Um, alright. What, what can I do with this? I guess then our focus will be big boy in front here. And there's also this. So I wanted to see if the Guardian has current elemental damage buff and do 25% against cursed enemies. I don't know what cursed enemies mean. What is that? Um, and it's a free action, so then our dude gets plus 50% damage, which is fucking great. Uh, I don't know that I need Nitro. I'd probably prefer Pulse. Or Concussion? You know what? Let's take concussion. Oh, we can just cycle through. Wild. Alright, what, is, what does that mean? Rattled? Plus additional... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, what happens if we do some of that? We do Concussion. He's weak against Concussion. That's great. Uh, only got one try against both of these, though. That's kind of the problem. But I mean, we can we can move Big Boy off the timeline no matter what. Same so. We do that. Which uh, aura do we have going here? Time? I don't know that I need that. But I think Sniper Dude is gonna go no matter what I do. So let's do strength, I guess. Let's. I think I have to defend with them. Otherwise, he's not gonna. Otherwise, he's not gonna survive. He's just gonna get one shot, more or less. Or. I... Ah, he's got too much health. I don't think I can do 400 damage to him. It's like 10 seconds. Or 25 seconds or whatever. That's Yeah, it's just not going to be enough. Even if I were to focus him down and not try to delay... Oh, that's an AoE. Uh, no, we're, we're getting that fucker off the timeline immediately. So, alright, even with that going, that's an instant, so we could defend. 
also defend here, which I don't think... I don't even know that this... This 15% defense buff does anything. Does it? Not aura. I don't want to see aura. I want to see, uh... Oh, that's the effects on me. Never mind. Ah, uh, that's why he's taking so much fucking damage. Minus 40% defense? Oh, that's terrible. No wonder. That's why he needs to move first. Because otherwise, he's really going to be toast. Alright. Um... I think I don't have a choice. I think I need to defend with them. But, I mean, the good news is if I just do, uh, 66, 83, plus a bunch of... That'll break him off the timeline and reduce a bunch of his armor. I'm into that. And we can just do this, right? Uh, I'm kind of into that. Yeah, let's see what happens. So we get the fucking Super Saiyan animation too. Rad. And then whatever we do, I guess we're just gonna really fucking do it. What does antimatter do though? I'm curious. Disintegrate. Oh, okay. It uh, it's armor reduction. You know what? I'm kind of into that too. Kind of into that. Okay. Yeah, and then we do that. And then... I mean, that dude's just... Oh, shit! That dude's getting pushed off. I wonder why... Oh, that's fucking rad. I didn't... He's weak to concussion, so I guess double delay. But where is it? where are we getting the extra 10 seconds from? You know what? Not gonna question it. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Never mind. Our robo dude is saved. He didn't need to defend. Can I take him off of defending? I can. Excellent. Yeah, now we get an extra attack. Hell yeah. So he's almost gonna be toast anyways. Fucking love it. Day saved. Oh wow, we can just do a kill shot on one of these fuckers anyways. Um, you know what? I'm mostly worried that he's gonna get to go first next turn, so fuck him. He dies. He dies now. Well, not now, but next person to probably tap him, he's gonna die. Bonk. Okay, Had a good armor break there, and then, you know, next AoE attack, just can urge the shit about, uh, out of the sniper dude. So he's toast, and then... Whoever gets the kill, gets the kill. You know what? Fuck it, here. <laughs> Poke! <laughs> um, I guess we could defend. I mean, I don't really need to do anything more. Bonk, bonk. I think, uh... I think our robo-friend is getting the kill here. No, not yet. Oh, whoever gets to move first here. Okay, Protag gets the kill. <laughs> Good job, everybody. And we got the appropriate amount of DNA to uh, upgrade our budget Han Solo so we can equip the fun gun. And that guy goes away. He really had no chance. That was an excellent fight. Now I'm really tempted to go fight this goddamn idiot here. <laughs> now I'm really tempted. I shouldn't. But I'm tempted to do it. All right, what do we get here? Oh man, we get even more stuff. Oh, but I already got like a better gun for him once we level him up. So I guess it's a better S word, huh? Except I don't wanna. Like I don't wanna. Can I get a new, can I get a reroll here? I don't want, I don't want any of these. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, stealing armor is pretty sick, though. Ah. Oh.
damn it. <laughs> oh, because I don't want to give up my, um... I don't want to give up my other S word here. Because the 40% damage on everything, the plus 40% damage on everything is pretty sick. Oh. But we don't have any AoE attacks with her, so that's less of a of a concern. Oh no, damn. I don't know that she doesn't have any flurry attacks either, does she? Can I look at my Can I look at my folks before I do this? Uh, I, w I wish I could look at their details before I choose one of these. I guess I can't. I have to make a choice. Uh, and I already have the better gun that I'm going to give Budget Han Solo here, so it's like neither of these two is an option, so I guess it's just this one. I guess we'll just grab it. I'm not going to equip it. But I do want to level him up again so that he can... Oh, what in the world is that ability? Wow, okay, so that's just extreme friendship boost there. I think we all know what Night Call means. Yeah, all right. Fine, whatever. I just want to give him the good gun. That's all I want to do. So, uh, here. Congratulations, you get the good gun now. God, plus 50% damage and a fucking 36 to 107 health steal. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I think it's worth it. 100% worth it. I. Um. Oh, this doesn't cost a thing to do. That's fun. I thought that would cost another barrier break thing. So now we can unlock whatever. And we could... Go back and get that. We could go get some money. Or we could try to fight uh, this fucko here. Or this fucko here. Ooh. Armor Enhancement Station might be the better play, actually. Because that'll refill all armor. And we've already got to refill all health. So this would be a risky play. It, it, the risky play would be to fight this fucko here. I don't think... I probably shouldn't do that. Level 9. Who knows what other fuckos he's got with him. Ah, but then there's this, then there's the equipment behind him. It's just like, mmm, I'm gonna be tumbling. Uh, no, I better not. So then the alternate play is to go all the way back here, do this fight here, get the armor bits, and then the health bits, and then it's the big boss fight. I think that that's the smarter play, really. That really is the smarter play. That's what we're doing. I mean, we, uh, God, that 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 fight against this dude would be it would be it would be fun. It would probably be pretty fun. Like I I like this game a lot. Like I am into being able to preview everything, well, mostly everything we do before it happens. So we get to you know think and, and deliberate and do whatever. But God, that would that's a a bad idea to fight that guy. So I think rationality wins out, and I'm not gonna do it. We will instead fight this fucko and whoever's with him. And get money and armor and pretty much a guarantee that we're going to win the fight. <laughs> Over almost a certainty that we're going to lose the other fight, right? So, alright. We're, we're good here. We're good here. Um... Like, no matter what happens, regardless of what happens in this fight, <clears throat> we're gonna get a health refill and an armor refill. So we can play this pretty fast and loose. That doesn't mean we can be stupid, but we can play it fast and loose. Uh, here, here's the big boom slam. This would be an instant fucking kill <laughs> against everybody. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's a tempting move. But it would also drain all of our fury points to do it. And we need those for the big boss fight coming up, so. I mean this would be a fun, just like instant win, but nah. <laughs> but nah. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn on the damage boost first. Even though, which, which dude is the front runner here? It's the one with kind of like the weirdo single visor. I think it's this dude here. Um, so do we have anything fast enough to push him back a little? Okay, right there. It's like fast enough to push him back a little bit. Um, and then we would have to be like, oh yeah, let's push him back entirely. Although, that's an instant attack. Hold on a second. Cancel that out. If we do this, oh no, that's not. That's the other dude. Oh, it's the dude in the back, the way back. I hate that. Okay. Um. Do I really not have any? Oh man, that other one. I, so I can't target him with this one, which is unfortunate. And this one that I can target him with doesn't do any like timeline pushback. So, I mean, I could take a chance and just, you know, plant some explosives and plan for the future. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Let's do that. So turn two, they're gonna get fucking destroyed. Um... So then we kind of play the whole, let's push him back a little bit so that we can then push him back a lot, except I can't Okay, I'd have to do, like, this. I'd have to do that, but then I'd also have to speed up a bit, I think, right? Well, get the speed up bits first. Because then I'd be able to do this. And that wouldn't push him back all the way. But it would murder shields. And that's about it, though. Balls. We'll think about it. Alternatively, we just go like full on in. Just don't worry about whatever this fucker's gonna do. I think it's gonna be Puddle, which is just a slight armor break and honestly pretty low attack power. So I don't even need to worry about it really. So let's get our damage boost back. Fuck it. Alright, so let's just not even worry about the back row dipshit. The rest of them, however. Let's see what we can do with these. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna need to leave uh, Robo Dude to do the slight pushback, so we can do the pushback against the rest here. I think that's is that gonna be an AOE? No, that's gonna be against our front runner. I don't care. Everything's gonna be fine. Um. Whatever attack we do here, we do just, oh, I don't know, try to take out the front runner. So what are we doing? It's going to be burning or um, uh, slowing next attack, which might not be a bad idea considering. Yeah, because then we can probably neutralize him almost immediately the next turn. Let's do that. Pop that fucko off the timeline. Bye bye. Um, and then bonk. Bonk him off the timeline. This dude gets to go. It's a very low amount of damage. That guy gets a stab in the chest, and then this guy gets to go. Pretty low damage, honestly. Um. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy up there. When did he when did he show up? Was he always here? I guess he was always here. Alright. Well that's no problem. Um Okay, and then it's this dude who's gonna go first first, huh? So if I really cared to 
to get this guy just out of here immediately. That's a free turn, right? Free action? Yeah, fuck it. Free kill. Bonk, eat shit. Um... Then... I guess we could do the very, very, very slight pushback on all these. Gives, gives us some time to work. Try to focus this guy down and just get him off the table. Really. Also break that guy off anyway, so that's fine too. Uh, I could do a shield boost here, which would not really help anybody. Pretty much just ensure that this guy is probably going to eat shit the next turn anyways. And then... Uh, where's our AoE here? Okay, that'll be a double kill. Excellent. So that guy gets to go first, whatever. I don't fucking care. You can take that one on the chin. Uh, okay, that guy gets to lose all his shield. He's going to be toast the next AoE anyways. Good break there. Fury is looking good. They're just gonna use this fight to farm Fury, really. So then we get a good a good situation going into the big boss fight, right? All right, so that guy gets broken off. Do a little bit of a late kill there, huh? Well, let's see if we can fix that up. Make shit go instant. There, there's a kill shot. <laughs> so bye bye, fucko. I'm into it. Alright, and bonk, there's a kill shot there. A kill shot there. Whoever goes first gets the gets the kill. Like it's budget Han solo. Oh, plus he gets the heal too. I forgot he had the the, the health steal. That's right. The thing I was so excited for, I forgot about it immediately. Alright, cool. Did we get that. And we get Full armor, and then also, uh, you know what, let's give our guardian additional armor stuffs there. Oh, and some extra DM there, hell yeah, extra 25? Yeah, baby, that means somebody gets a level up. Oh, only our robo friend gets a level up. Well, before we decide to do that, let's see if there's anything else around here. That we can grab. I, oh, there's some there. And some there. Such a bounty. Um, and we can't go all the way up there, right? That's... Is that all locked off, or do we get to go fight? Kind of fun. Oh, no, we're, we're blocked off. Boo! <laughs> uh... Probably for the best. Alright, is there anything else over that away? I don't think so. No, that one's still guarded. We can't do that. Would have just been flavor text anyways. Oh, right. Uh, let's make sure to get that full heal, that free full heal before we go. Point of leaving that there. There we go. Everybody's all full up, ready to go. Full armor, full health, full shields. DNA there, no problem. A little bit of extra DNA there, also no problem. 159 is pretty good. All right, so now everybody but Budget Han Solo, really. Uh, oh, I see. So everybody probably gets the. Uh, the Extendo Friendship Booster here at their level 9, huh? That's kind of fun. Uh, let me see what about this, though. Yep, level 9, level 9, level 9, level 9. Yeah, okay, never mind. Everybody gets that. Um... Well... I 
honestly, our alt front runner here here has been uh, taking a lot of the a lot of the hits. So I wouldn't mind a little extra health plus the self heal, just in case something goes wrong. Because what is, what does this do? Oh, and it's a free action too. Oh shit, that's even better. Yeah, I'd be stupid not to take that. All right, yoink. That's even better. I wish I had like a some equips to give you too, but I don't. Ah oh, well, what are you gonna do? I guess the only alternative we have is this other. Uh, oops, no, this other S word, right? Which, tempting, because level 8 versus level 7, right? But... Does she even have any flurry attacks? What's what's her deal? She doesn't have any flurry attacks, right? Normal, light... Oh, that one. So we could make that one go instantly, huh? That's not bad. Uh... I'm gonna miss the 40% damage boost to everything. I better not. I better not. Um, okay, no, everything's good there. Uh, okay. Well, then we're up to the... We're up to the big bad. And we don't need to waste any camping points on healing, because everybody's good. Uh, we could do whatever this is. Oh, well, they're already maxed out. Doesn't matter. Um, I think somebody else here. Here we go. Yeah, remember? Remember that dude we murdered? <laughs> uh. It's fun. Okay. Um, and then we're really at our liberty to just improve stuff. Oh, and here's like, oh, it exhausts me. I see, so it's a one-time. It's a one-time deal. But, like, what's the... Does it tell me what we get if we go to, like, level one or level two? Or whatever the f*** is going on here? Um, oh, here, relationship unlocks. Uh, oh no, this is just the stuff we've already done. Damn, it doesn't really tell us. That's unfortunate. But I mean, I'd be stupid not to use it, right? It's, it's literally free. Um, but who gets it? Who would be best to get it? We're guaranteed a, a friendship level up no matter what. Let's get to level two with Robo Friend here. Oh, we actually gained two, which is even better. So that's probably the value. <laughs> uh. All right, so we get extra stagger and some shield regen. I'm into that. <clears throat> Recycling center in the sky. Ah, meet purgatory. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so then we get. Oh, we get a cool combo attack too. Oh, sick. The combo attacks are really fucking sick, actually. So I'm, I'm really, really into that. Um, Alright, so now we get to do the non free things. Uh, what is gonna be best for this boss fight? I wonder. Bleeding wouldn't be bad. We don't need any of the repair stuff, so that's a no-go. Armor piercing seems pretty good. But also, like, the damage and defense boost seems pretty good, too. Hmm. Shield drain seems good. Additional... Uh, stagger bit seems good. Defense seems good. More max shield seems good. Oh, there's too many good things. 
hard to choose. All right, let's do, uh... Oh, additional attack speed, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one, that one's real good. Um, oh, we've only got two choices on this one, huh? Maybe we wait on it then. Uh, additional delays for attacks. Let's do that to... You know, here. It's generally, I like his AoE delay. And do it. And then... Uh, where's just our straight up damage booster here? This one. Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? And then we've got our got kind of a limiting on this to one point. Uh which kind of limits us to oh, bleeding stuff, huh? Yeah, I and additional crit damage, I suppose, too. And then the rest that we could do is just healing, which we don't need to do. So, yoink. And now, it's time for the big bad fight. Oh. Which we're two, we're two for two so far on this run, so maybe we make it a, make it a hat trick and be like, hey, yeah, we, we're doing it. But he's fully charged, ready to go. Let's let's do this fight here. Don't even need to pause. Don't need to think about what we're doing. Let's go do the fight. <laughs> oh wow, he's he was a real big one. Oh, it's only him though. So uh, okay, you know what? Five on one. Good odds. Good odds. Oh, he's got a big ass shield though. I don't like that. Wow, he is a big fucker. Oh! <laughs> he is a big one. I... Uh... Hmm. And that attack is a big problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, well. Let us start with... Well, let's see. One of our things is a stun, right? We could just do a big-ass stun here. That would take about a quarter of his shields out. But I guess we could probably do this the normal way first. We could do this, which is also a quarter of his shields, no stun. Uh, same consumption of fury points. Ah, but this also does, uh, armor break on it as well, it seems. Firstly, though, if we're gonna even consider instant attacks, let's, uh, get a damage boost going for this. Because now, that might inform us even more. So what do we need? We need a 30 second delay here. Can we do that with just this? No, because he is strong, probably strong against light attacks? No. That's interesting. I wonder why that's not bumping him off the timeline right away then. It says 45 seconds and it's definitely less than 45 seconds up on the timeline there. Hmm. We have a single attack that will get him off the timeline. I mean, aside from like a big boom slam stun here, which might not be a bad idea. That would let us do the delay attacks next round. So there's 40 here, which is just barely not enough. But I think 40 might be the strongest one we have, aside from uh, Budget Han Solo's 45.
That hardly does any damage. Well, I mean, I guess we're going against 1,500 shield and 2,600 health. Oh, my god. And 115 armor. Oof. That's a, a big-ass problem. So if we try to work the armor down maybe a little bit first... We should only use the stun, like the instant stun attack in an emergency, really. So why don't we work them down a little bit here. Yeah, let's do this. That reduces his armor a little bit, that's good. You know, little by little. Um, we didn't take- we didn't equip the thing that does instant flurry attacks, that did we? Which might have been important. Ah, uh, nuts. Alright. Okay, but even with that, here's the single... Single attack there. We could also do, like, hey... Let's beef up one of our normal ass attacks and kind of go that way. Okay, so this doesn't. This one doesn't do. a time pushback, which is fine. I think that's fine, because if we leave that to. single attack here, plus. I want to do Sunder? Or Sever? Probably Sunder if we can get away with it. Let's see if that does the job. Yeah, okay, so that'll break him off the timeline, leave us one to deal with next time. It won't be burning, but it should be bleeding, I guess. Which, any bit of chip damage is nice. Then we could maybe, let's see, what does that do? That does plus 25% to... Uh, what's this here? 25% to crit damage, so what do we have lined up? 33 versus 35, so we should probably line that one up there. And then there's this, which is gonna be... 2 armor break, plus a not unreasonable shield hit. Pretty good. Oh wait, why does he still get to go? That should have- Oh, that was a big hit. Uh, he should have been pushed off the timeline. Why did he get to go there? Uh... Oh, because of his laser shield bullshit. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh, okay. Didn't think that one fully through. Hmm. Ah, because he's got 50% defense against Stagger, that's why. All right, this this is okay though. This is okay. I think we can maybe make this work. So he's targeting now our front runner. I can get shields back there, right? Which should prevent most of the damage. In fact, all of the damage. So that's a good. Like, almost free turn, then. Hey, Richard Digbeck, how you doing? Um, so then... <laughs> uh, so then, I guess... Okay, so now we've got some build-up. We can push him off the timeline for real this time. We do a, just a single blitz here. That puts him all the way out of here. Or... We can do... Continue to chip away at armor. That's supposedly guaranteeing him getting off the timeline there. Let's just make sure that all the things happen. This will actually help, because he'll get a little bit of health steal there. 
way to do that though. Really make sure. So wait a minute before I make these things work. <laughs> what do we reflex disintegrate? I don't think we're doing any disintegration. And we're not doing any antimatter damage either, right? I think we're good. I think we're good with this. Plus, we've got this free... free self-heal turn, really. Yeah, let's do that. Free self-heal. Oh, I could even do it a second time. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> that seems to have paid for itself already. Okay, um... Bleeding, burning... He's not defending against either of those, right? Plus, it'll give me a crit bonus of six armor break there, so let's do that. Uh, I'm going to... Maybe beef up our front runner for extra, extra, extra damage. And then there's just this, which I don't want to spoil any of the pushback from for later. So doing that would probably be fine. So that's just like another 137. Plus extra there. This should hopefully push him off the timeline. There we go. Excellent. And doing shield restore there to our front runner, which is good. Extra shield there. Oh, I see. It reflects the disintegrate back onto us. Ah! I hate that. That's why that's what was happening. Okay. But now we've got plenty of fury, so that means we do a free instant stun here, more or less, right? One of these will do that. This one here. Plus bleeding nine, which is great. More chip damage. Uh, we can't do... I can't do entity, unfortunately, but we're still good for health. So what if we just do... Okay, now he's not got... He doesn't have the reflect shit on him now. Which is probably good. Um, Cause I could do this now. I could do that as an instant attack. Does another you know, two armor break for him, plus a little bit of. It's already, well, he's not at full health yet, but we could do that. Um. It, well, I probably should. Actually, I need to do one of my stun attacks almost immediately here. Uh, that one won't do it. This one will do it. I could do the single target stun, right? Because that'll get him the fuck off the timeline immediately. Tiny bit of shield damage. Tiny bit of health damage. And still leave us with a little bit, right? Because that'll be minus 15. The stun count is a break? Probably not. Versus our combo stun, which is honestly a pretty fucking good attack. Look at that. That is uh, 400 some. Plus 31 bleeding. Yeah, fuck it. Do it. Plus we can do it again next turn if we really need to. 525, hot damn. Plus a little bit of extra bleeding, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, but he's got some... Sh oh, okay, his shield is almost gone. Fuck, great. Uh, we could do the free attack here, or we could wait. Uh, wait, we could do a little bit of extra 
burning will be blocked by shields a little bit, but it's a late attack, so let's see if we can just take care of it. I should probably use this time to regen some shields. We still haven't had our front runner go yet, have we? Oh no, we have, because she did the... Um, she did the combo attack with Budge Pond solo there. Uh, we could do a little bit of shield regen there versus a very small amount of damage there. You know what? That's probably a good idea. Use this to use this turn to beef a little bit. Good hit there, plus some extra bleeding, and then shields back on itself. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. I don't like the looks of that attack. That is a group. That is an AoE attack, which is gonna do some serious work. Uh, I don't like it. Um. Do we have a single attack that can push him off the timeline besides maybe just the stun? Probably just the stun. And if I'm gonna do a stun, I should do... Oh, I can't do that. Why can't I do that one? Can I not do it two in a row? Oh, I can only do it once per battle. <gasps> oh, that's bad. Well, I was kind of counting on that. <laughs> I was kind of counting on being able to do that back to back. Uh, fuck. Um. Well, then the alternative is to just do this. Oops. Uh. Can I turn that off? Nope. Well, I guess I'm committed. <laughs> I'm committed. That's what that's that's happening there. So all right, this is more or less a free round now. This dude, he's not strong against. He's strong against pyro now. But I don't have any pyro attacks, do I? No, I've got a bunch of bleeding attacks, though. I'll like, keep that rolling. I do like, I do like Sunder, though. Like, it's such a strong, good, good thing. Alright, and then do... It's a laser-based attack, right? Okay. Now I could... Sure that she goes next. This is not going to do anything negative, I think. That'll do a strong armor break. Bonk. Then I guess if I just really beef up her attack, he'll still get to go, but... Shouldn't be that much of a problem, I don't think. That's a good hit. Good armor break. Ugh. Okay, that's really just gonna do uh, health damage to our front runner, which self heal anyway, so it doesn't matter as much. Um. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. That's gonna be a stun, huh? But we've got three attacks to push him off the timeline. Eh, honestly, a stun isn't a bad thing. I can deal with that, because I could just defend here and avoid most of the damage anyway. Ah, but what else is he doing there? Immune to concussion, but he's super cursed. Which doesn't help me unless I do this, because then it's going to be a free quarter damage boost to everybody. Ah, uh, but he's reflecting 35% of the damage, which is stupid and dumb. I wish I could get rid of that. But look at all those fucking cursed buffs there. 
So what happens? What's gonna happen there? Does it, okay, it does kind of preview the damage that's reflecting back on me. So if I were to do my biggest, baddest attack here... Oh man, look at that! <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe I don't attack any this round. Or I do just very minor attacks. But how long is that going to... Okay, that only lasts for one turn. Damn. Of course he would choose this turn to do all the reflect shit. Alright. We all have... Are we still doing shield regen? Oh, we are. For one more round. Thirteen. Thirteen per. So I guess we do, like, a minor hit here. Chip down his armor a bit more. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to defend Protag here. I think. So otherwise, she's taking a really big hit, and I don't like it. All right. Uh, could do this. Oh, that's a big self hit too, though. Uh, what if we just do that? That's slightly less. Plus it does burning and bleeding, which seems like a good deal, so let's do that. Do a self-heal next round if we need to. I think I'm gonna need to defend with her. I don't- I can't see any other way out of that, really. She'll be taking minimal damage. Uh, that's gonna cause kind of minimal damage to him as well. Oh, but that's going to be offset by the uh, health steal he's got, too. I forgot about that. Or no, maybe not, because he's at full health, they'll just hit his shield. Alright, so I think I do this then. This does a, a pretty good... Make sure we're not missing any of its buffs here. No, okay, we should be all right then. Uh, let's do the degen. That'll take care of some of his armor again, which is great. Um, this I think is probably a no-brainer. That takes a pretty solid chunk of his health down, considering what it is. And then we just got this one, which if I'm gonna do that, I may as well just beef this up here. And then he can do this, which will just do even more damage. I'm into it. Okay, pretty good. And then he'll do the solid attack there, which hardly... Oh, okay, 81's a pretty big hit. But uh, we might have something to say about that in this next turn anyways. Okay, I should shoot that. Um, hmm. that's a big AOE. Ah. <laughs> okay, now it feels like the stun is the right thing to do here because he is moving real fast. Oh, I don't have enough to do a stun. Oh, that's a problem. That's a big fucking problem. All right, then we're looking to do this in maybe the. Uh, the normal fashion then, because what is this gonna do? Reflects chilled. Which means not much. Looks like a very minor amount of damage. Ugh. Minor amount of damage. But ultimately not too terribly troublesome. Should probably put the shield regen back in place. Uh, how is his debuffs looking? Oh, he's not cursed. Damn it. Okay. Uh, oh, but he is pretty hurt. So honestly, doing a doing a little self heal here would be a good idea. 
probably do it a second time. Okay. Um. Ah, damn, the reflect on that is terrible now. Why, why is that? Oh no, that's not the reflect, that's his main attack. That's gonna be doing that. So let's make sure to push this fucker off the off the thing here. We've, so in order to do that, I think we'll need to do the instant. We'll need to do the instant first. That'll push him back once. To a pretty severe degree, actually. Um, so that gives us some time to push him back even further. It'll essentially be that. I'll need to do a, probably 15 after that point. I could also do this. Uh, which, apparently that... Is that going to do a thing, too? No. No. Uh, so if we do this, that'll break eight more of his armor. Which isn't bad. Should probably put our shield regen back up. And we can probably rely on... Mm, can't. We need we need more than fifteen. We need a twenty. We have a twenty that'll that'll do this. This one here. That'll operate sooner rather than later. And if I wanted to do that. Okay, I'm gonna put our shield buff back on though. So that's good, that gets rid of everything else that was sailing us there. We could do the free action here, which does a very small amount. Then it also applies burning and bleeding. Yeah, sure. Okay. Does all that, burning, bleeding, etc. And then our next attack is probably just gonna. No, it won't. Uh, this one? No, this one. Well, that's not gonna push him back enough. It would have to be this, yeah. That's interesting. Which, you know, okay, fine, whatever. I'm sure he goes the fuck away. Okay, this is the last attack I need to pick here. So I could, uh, that plus an additional six armor break and a little bit more chip damage. I'm into that. Okay. It's a bonk. And then bonk. Get some off the timeline. Plus four fury, I'm into that. Bonk there. Okay. 176. Just out of dot stuff is pretty great. Okay, now, however, he's still queuing up a big ass attack, and I don't like it. Um. <laughs> I could do this, that would get us. I need. How much fury do I need to stun? I need 15. I need 2. I need two attacks to fire off before he gets to move. I could do it here. Or no, I need two instant attacks, more or less. This one would suffice. That plus uh, our Vorpal Swarm would probably do. So let's do those. Bonk, bonk, so that's a free action anyways. Oh, that doesn't count for generating fury. Fuck. Oh, that annoys me. This one might, oh, that's not a free action, so this one might actually work. Problem to be, how can I get that extra little bit here? I don't think I'm going to, so I might just have to hold out for another 
hold out for a round. And then hope we can focus him down in like two, maybe three rounds. Yeesh. Alright. Um... I need 15 for all of these. Hmm. Okay, this one I know goes first. She'll do chip damage plus additional bleeding. So 50, 25, plus 27, that's about a hundo. Considering, which isn't bad. I think I need to defend with her no matter what, because otherwise she's toast. Or to guarantee she's not gonna get crit there. Also move before he does, so he won't get crit there. Wait, why is he getting pushed all the way back there? Honestly, oh, oh, from her Sunder attack, that's right. Can I actually push him? entirely off here in one more attack that would need to be 20 probably 30 i could technically do that huh because this would go immediately that goes immediately i think her i think protag sever pushes him out which is great uh, so yeah, let's just work it like that. We should then get enough fury for the stun on the next turn. So we've got essentially a free go of things now. I'm into it. Maybe one's a good hit. It's a break, oh, a free break there, really. Oh right, that was her attack, then plus a 141, nice. Oh, it's what it is, that holy shit, nice. Okay, so now he's guaranteed to go first, pretty much. But we can take care of that by being like, nah, man. No, fuck you. <laughs> you don't get to go this turn. You get to go none turns, in fact. Now we get free, free goes at it here for the rest of it. Rest of everybody else. Um, okay. So now, we lay down the big hurts. The biggest of hurts. Big attack there. Uh, do I need to do a self-heal at all? I could do it and self-heal, just to be sure. But, maybe we don't care. Pretty big hurt there. I even want to bother? I guess I could really reduce his armor and really just go for it. Plus it does even more stuff to its health defense, which is great. Big hit, 231, it's great. Armor break all over the place. 94 is a good hit, plus more bleeding and burning, and another 95 chip on that. He gets to go immediately, pretty much. Oh, no, we get some time. We get some time. Can we... Can we murder... How much does he have left? 688. Can we murder before he gets to go? Because we could do this, right? He'll return... Will he return... Is he returning fire on this? He is not. Oh, yeah, it does some armor disintegration. I don't fucking care. Hey, yeah, whoa. Nine damage. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Uh, and Guardian's almost full. Yeah, fuck it. Just do that. Another 60 health. That's, that's fine. Plus then whatever we're going to do here, which is going to be that, probably. Could continue to just ship here. Uh, he's already done with his armor, though, so we should do 
as much health damage as we can, we're gonna get a kill shot on him anyways, so... Let's ensure that we do, in fact, get a kill. One eighty two, solid hit. Sixty eight's a good hit there. One thirteen, excellent hit there, and then here comes the kill shot, probably. Two thirty seven, baby. Excellent fight. Everybody lived and in not terrible condition either. Good fight. Well thought out, well planned, well executed. Okay, well... So now we're on to the final area, I guess. Unless there's gonna be more beyond that. Uh, but alright, cool. Area 3 cleared. We get to go... Do we get to recruit somebody else to round out our crew of six here, I think, yeah? I think. Where are all the recruitables? Or maybe not. Or I guess it's just our crew of five, then. Which, you know, that's fine, too. I mean, this, this team of five has been doing the important stuff the way it is, right? So there's our, our stuff that we can buy. Can we talk to anybody over here? No. Hmm. Oh, well. It's... 320 buckos, as, and also a level up. Oh. Oh, we can technically level up uh, Budget Han Solo to level 10, huh? Yeah, what does that do? Blitz 2. Oh, sick. 50% damage debuff, or defense debuff on the enemy? That's not bad. Plus it's a 50 second stick. Damn. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, I see. It's the level up to our original thing. Fuck. Um. That's really tempting. But how we got 196. We could probably can we spread this across two people? No. Oh wait, actually, maybe we can. Uh 88. No, that'd be 204. Shit. Ah, oh, we're just a little tiny bit short. Um, but... Into elements, what does that mean? Tax gain, corruption, and plasma damage. That's pretty fucking sick. Uh... Hot damn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm lean into that. It seems pretty good. Although maybe I should have looked at what we could have bought before I did that. Ah, too late. Oh, fuck! Level 10 stuff. Oh, okay, that we don't have a person to use. Ah, uh, this is really expensive, too. But I already have the the health steal gun on budget on solo so that he's probably keeping that so then we'd really be planning for the future a bit maybe ten second stagger is pretty good but I do like the 40% boost this so I'd probably be doing this and waiting for two level ups on our robot friend armor steel is pretty good although I don't know if he's got a normal or a heavy attack oh no that's what he's got uh, right now. Penetrate armor 25%, plus 25% damage versus health, plus corruption 9. And then reduce enemy damage by 20%. Damn. Okay, I'd be stupid not to buy that, really. Let's, let's get it. And hope that the other stuff I could have bought isn't better. Damn it. 
Oh, uh, because anybody can equip... Well, not anybody can... Well, everybody can equip this, actually, can't they? If they're the right level. But now we don't have any money! Oh, who was the idiot who spent all my money? <laughs> oh, fuck. Although, wait, do I have some old shit that will, uh... Sell for money? Yeah, like a really old S-word, and we could technically sell that one for... 48 bucks? Yeah, we get three bucks for that one. Whoop the fucking do Tarantula Town. Um, this one I don't think I need anymore either, right? Because he's got his better gun. Yeah. Three more bucks for that one. Then I don't think I'm going to swap out her present S word, so we can sell that one for. 48 bucks. What would that give us? 130 some bucks? Is that enough? It is not. Fuck. <laughs> so maybe I'll hang on to that S word just in case. Ah, uh, cause I could. I really could just... I could sell one of these other things. But I don't think that's going to be worth much, is it? Let's see. Who's got, like, some of the weaker shit? Uh, unequip, and then how much? Three bucks, really? No. Equip it then. So realistically then, I guess we're probably... ...good with what we have. Oh, gain a bomb. I would like to gain a bomb. Yeah, gain bomb. <laughs> Sick. Oh, I see. So now our robot friend is, uh... Our other robot friend, our floaty robot friend, is joining the team. Is that fucking what's going on here? He is! <laughs> That's great! Uh, looks like he's only level one. Can I do something about that? Oh, no, he's already maxed out. Boo! So that's fun. Um, should I maybe put him in the back row? Probably. Okay. Well... That, okay, that, that explains why we couldn't recruit anybody else, though, because we need that open slot for our floaty robo-friend there. Actually, what what is his... what does he have? 150, 250. Okay, so he's got six shields. And not bad armor, and not bad health. So I probably should put him in the front row. Yeah. Okay, that's a hell of a team. And we're about at the end of tonight anyway, so that's good too. We'll leave the progression to the final area for next time. But hey, good stuff done. Everybody lived. We beat another big bad. And we got some level ups and some good gear and shit. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club, so we'll have a new Shmup for month of August, and then uh, Universe and the other one. Uh, King of Force are still up for quarterlies for shmups. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be long play, so more Tales Principle 2. Um, we've got some stuff to, to wrap up with our good buddy Yakut before we uh, move on to the final third of the DLC puzzles. And then next week, Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back here with Star Renegades. Looks like we're on to the final leg here. See if we manage to survive this or not. Probably not, but, you know, one can hope. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.